We are at Strongford in Staffordshire today, which is a Seven Trent Water wastewater treatment site. And what we've got here today is the world first hydrogen combustion engine backhaul loader working side by side with a net zero product to achieve a net zero world. We are installing a, a load of different technologies uh, across the whole, whole of the site, technologies from across the globe that are reducing carbon emissions. Our customers are really important to our business. Without them, we're, we're nothing. Um, we, we purposely concentrated on picking a customer here that was forward thinking in the way they were planning on developing their works in the next number of years. Uh, Jay and Bentley absolutely came to the forefront in, uh, in everything that they do. They're a great business to work with and they've got some really great aspirations and using future technologies to improve their business today. As a business, we're really proud to be on site here today with the asset. Uh, we were one of the first companies to, to ask for electric plant many years ago um, and we, we subsequently bought them and brought them into the fleet. And we know the next step is hydrogen. As a business, we're really, really proud uh, to be one of the first companies to have the machines on site. And for myself, as a son of a JCB owner and driver for many years ago, uh, I used to sit on the toolbox of a machine like that, which is quite a, quite a cool moment for me also. The hydrogen backhoe loader we've had on site has been mainly doing excavation works for us, digging, it's been offloading um, deliveries using its forks and using the lifting attachment on the excavator and it's been transporting materials around site. Jay and Bentley's first impressions of this new technology is very positive. It seems to function as a traditional diesel powered JCB would do, which means that there's no difference when it comes to the usability of it on site. The only difference appears to be fueling. On our major projects at the minute, our refueling trucks drive, drive along and they go to the plant and they refuel the machines one by one. Uh, I think that's some of our concerns around having a larger scale electric machines is, is bringing the charging facility to the machine or, or, or losing valuable time taking the machine to the charging facility. So the fact that the hydrogen assets that we've looked at so far um, can be refueled in the same manner and the same technique as what we do with diesel is really, really important for our operators and for our customers. Well, I always thought that hydrogen machines were a long way away from you know coming into production and getting onto site but you know, as we can see we've got one here today yeah. yeah i'm very proud to be one of the first operators to have a go on one of these hydrogen machines yeah i think they operate very well it does what it says it's no loss of power and zero emissions which is good for the environment well the takeaways we've had so far are first and foremost and probably the most important customers say the machine performs in exactly the same way so this backhoe is identical to its predecessor. The only difference is we've got a different engine that takes a different fuel, hydrogen, but they can refuel it in exactly the same way. Currently, we fuel with diesel through towable fuel bowsers that we transport around site. The hydrogen JCB will use fuel that is refueled by a plant that will come out to your site instead. The same principles apply. It's still point of application. It will be directly where the JCB is sat, where it will be fueled. The main reason we wanted to trial hydrogen is because we really see it as a, as a sustainable fuel for the future. Um, it, it works in a similar way to diesel that it can be transported to and from site, it can be moved around site, uh, that, that gives the flexibility to our customers to not have to change their whole way of working to suit a different uh, fuel type. So hydrogen plays a vital part in what we're trying to do. So it's incredibly important to our customers that the machines can keep working and are available at all times during the day. Today they're used to recharging the machine with today's fuel, fossil fuel, and the great thing about the hydrogen machines, we can do exactly the same. We can refuel the machines on site while they're working, and that's really what the customers need and want in our industry. So our drive is to be net carbon zero by 2040. This is a really, really ambitious target and it's going to take a lot of uh, hard work and investment to get there. And that's why products like the hydrogen backo are really, really important to us. Because the uh, plant and equipment rerun makes up one of the biggest aspects of our carbon emissions within our business, our scope one and scope two emissions. So it is really important that we have alternative solutions to diesel to drive down those emissions to net zero. The development of new technology to meet net zero is hugely important for my generation because the construction industry emits it's a very large contributor to greenhouse gases and uh, the carbon impact. So if we can implement new, more sustainable technologies like the hydrogen 
um, the ATV behind me, then that will, like I said, decrease the impact on the environment for future generations. So I'm 30, so people my age and my generation and all the generations following us have a responsibility to the planet as a whole. And because of this, we need to really drive these kinds of initiatives. We need to drive the way forward and pave it for future generations. Jane Bentley and the, the wider Mott McDonald group have got a target to, to become net zero by 2040. Um, we've got some shorter uh, term targets and we want to reduce scope one and scope two emissions by 46% by 2030 and reducing fuel emissions is a big part of that. So where we can utilise hydrogen technologies, um, that will help us achieve those goals. The customers feel really comfortable with the solution. It, it's, it, it's just pretty normal, just normal. That's what they want. The normality is there. We're not asking them to do anything that's radically different. And therefore they, they feel very comfortable with the solutions, just jump on the machine and work it like they would normally. I think it's really exciting. I think uh, hydrogen is going to play a big part uh, in uh, our fleet in the next few years. Uh, we're really excited to be working with JCB on this, on this trial. Uh, and we think in the next couple of years, we'll have a number of hydrogen, uh, hydrogen ran assets within the fleet. There is, there, there is no real differences, no, dif no differences in performance at all. You wouldn't be able to, if you were blindfolded and putting one, you wouldn't know which one you were in. At Jay Bentley, we're really passionate about sustainability and decarbonisation. I see hydrogen helping towards that goal as well, um, amongst other things that, that we're doing as a business, but hydrogen could be a, a key part of that. It feels amazing to be at the forefront of implementing new technology like this. We get to have opportunities like this to really pave the future for way, the way the industry is going. Long term, we really have a vision that we would run a number of hydrogen assets on our fleet. Uh, who knows what the future holds, but in 20 years time, we could be looking at a complete hydrogen fleet versus the diesel engines that we've had for the last 40 years. Mm -hmm.